sheet activities with our okay vba mm. so let's see bunda So there are three sheets by us here in this workbook. It's named as book one. And uh, first thing first that uh, how to select sheets. So we have three four methods here. We can refer by name sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Whatever the sheet name is, we can directly call it sheet one dot select. Okay. Next thing, mm -hmm. our sheets object. We have a sheets object in between the brackets and inverted comma. We give the name of the sheet. Mm -hmm. Second is uh, third is index number. In the sheet object, we can give the index number. Suppose I want to select this uh, file. This sheet three, so its index number is one, two, three. Third number okay. index. You can use <coughs> number also. So these three methods for selecting sheets, working with sheets. Now let us know what we do first with sheets. We usually add sheets in our workbook. And this uh, active sheet means whatever sheet which is activated, it refers to that this active sheet object. We have uh, same members like active cell, active workbook. So for sheets we have active sheet. dot name with dot name we will access the name of that function. Okay, whichever is active. So first, uh, I want to add sheets in my workbook. So I create a macro here. Now I want to add sheet. So sheets dot whatever we want to do with sheets, we will do th with this sheet object. Sheet dot add. This will add one sheet in my workbook. When I run this macro, uh, when I go to this macro and I run this, you can see sheet 6 is added. But there is a problem. Sheet 6 is added before sheet 3. Now I want that sheet should be included here. After all the sheets. So, we have to do some modification in this code. See when we press space, so there are options add before, after, count. There are three four options. So I want to add sheets after the other sheets. Okay, after sheet three. So I have uh, to access this after keyboard so I can access by comma when I press comma I am moving to different options object but suppose here are 30 40 objects here so I need to put 30 40 is comma so we have a shortcut using for using this thing I type the keyword press colon and equal to I can direct mm. use it here ok uh, now in this after keyword I need to specify what uh, uh, after what after which sheet so with sheet object itself we need to specify now I know that after sheet 3 ok 
this one after sheet 3 now I run this macro so after sheet 3 it is inserted sheet 7 but, uh, one if we don't know what is the what is the index number then uh, uh, yes I am telling now what is the problem when I uh, press run again it always includes the sheet always after three. So I need to understand how many sheets are available in this workbook. Okay. So we have a keyword here. It needs to know the index number only. So I can use this sheets dot count. Okay. They, it is a function which returns sheet dot counts returns the total number of sheets and when I uh, put a total number of sheets in the sheets keyword means if there is four sheet it will be referred as sheet four but with, uh, with four index the maximum index it will return after that we need to add the sheet so after the, this keyword when I uh, run this macro it will work fine. Sheet 9 after 3. Then again I do the same. Sheet 10. Now it is working fine. Okay. Now let us know we have uh, uh, we are adding sheets in the same workbook. We have one more workbook here. Named book 2. Now in next workbook I need to add sheets. Okay, in next workbook. So for referring these sheets, the sheet is a reference for sheets only. Whatever will be the active workbook, the active sheet will be functioning. So I will specify the work with the workbook object and here I will give the name of that workbook the dot all the option will be remain same ok now now hmm. if you see in book 2 I just remove all the sheets here so there are only one sheet and I am on book 1 so I just run the macro uh, what is the problem well, books. Well, I the problem is with the name actually before running the code I think uh, that workbook should be activated Workbooks. Book. Book. Dot select. Yeah, or activate. Let us do this thing. It will work. Yes, it will work. You will find there is another sheet added here. So before working anywhere because if it is not visible it will not work so we need to activate it first for any sheet if we want to work then we need to activate if we are applying filter and uh, doing uh, different kind of thing <coughs> sometimes we need to activate these sheets and workbook <coughs> then what we do after <laughs> doing this we just copy our sheets so copy has uh, before copying we have an option suppose we want to uh, change the name of the sheet so we can change the name active sheet dot name equal to so this will be the name of that file. 
whichever it is added. Let's see. So you can find the Sunday name she is in book two has been added here. Okay, because uh, when new worksheet inserted, it will be active, activated automatically. Okay. Now if we uh, talk about that, uh, I want to insert more than one sheet. So we will use a different keyword here as count. But for applying keyword, I need to just put a comma here. Then I can use. So count, I want to add some five sheets here. No, I don't want to change the name. So five sheets will be inserted in book two. Let's see. So we'll find in book two, we have these five sheets. multiple sheet we can insert in our sheets then we talk about copy copying sheets now we use this sheets dot copy after Then whichever sheet I need to copy, we need to specify here. Dot copy after because adding after adding, if you want to copy, it will have the same keywords after after. I use this code because there will be a different workbook and this will belong from workbook to this sheet. So this sheet will be copied after workbook book one dot cheese dot com. Now let's play this code. There is a problem because I think book 2 is not activated. Mm, I just activate from here. Then I go to code. Then I run in. There is a problem. Let's see workbook. Workbook. Dot. Then we do. Now from book 2 the sheet will be copied in this book 1. Because where we are working, where we are working, uh, we are uh, simply copying this sheet to another workbook. So work to be done in workbook 1. So book 1 should be activated first. Okay. Whatever we are taking from another thing, it's not important. Where we are working, it's important. Suppose if we are taking data, we are selecting range, uh, uh, range in a loop. Sometimes you will uh, be surrounded with this these kind of problems when your uh, uh, macro is not performing well. So this selection method can be different. This activation every time it need to activate sheets and workbook. So sometimes it requires that range also for a cell. Now 
were moving. Suppose I delete this. We can also move, use move keyword. But in move we nothing has, uh, has to do with this simple change the keyword and once single on a single time it is changed here and book one has no that sheet earlier sheet. So this move keyword we can use. Then after moving, copying, adding the sheet, we can use delete. So I want to delete that sheet. So sheet name and delete. Simple keyword is there. So just activate it first then delete. So you can see their data may exist in sheet. So there is a, a alert here. If I want to delete this sheet from here or itself, so there is an error. So this, this is called alerts. Where we, where we need to interact with system. But uh, we want to do it with programming. So we have a code here. There is application dot display alerts. It should be set it to false. Uh, means in application the alert should not be displayed. When you set it to false, the alert messages will not be displayed, but you have you need to be careful about these settings. After using that, you should turn on these things. When I run this code, sheet will be deleted automatically. Okay, no alerts is there. Next thing we apply protection, but uh, we need to uh, careful about these tools. Uh, if I want to protect this sheet and just close this book too, I want to protect this sheet. So here I provide password and there are a lot of options here. Yeah. Select log cell, select and log cell. How do we, uh, I access them? I simply use this sheet one dot protect. I am given the password. Then uh, I will do that. Uh, all the options you can see is coming here. So I can type here if I want to allow, allow inserting columns. So I can set it to true. Means I, a, any of the option I can use it. Okay, I have given the password here, so we need to provide common. No, it will function. Password is one, two. <coughs> we need to give it in uh, um, columns or no, directly? Password. Here, okay. and I can insert column here. Protect one, two. So code, we, if we need to unprotect, we can use this code. Sheet one dot unprotect. Just this one. 
So this thing will unprotect. And uh, let me protect this sheet with that password. Okay. Now I can see it is protected. Now let's run the code and you will find it is unprotected. So protect and unprotect. Next thing we have visibility of sheet. You want to hide this thing. Hide. Hide sheet. I have hided the sheet. Now when I want to unhide, I can have this sheet here. Yeah. So hide and hide we can do with this visible property. Sheet in your visible. Equal to, you have three options here. Excel sheet hidden, Excel sheet very hidden, Excel sheet visible. When you set it to hidden, so what happened? it is hidden here you can unhide from here so another option you have excel sheet was the option excel sheet visible this option allows you to unhide the sheet but there is a third option in between Excel sheet very hidden. When you apply this option, then you cannot unhide from here. This Excel sheet very hidden option, you can only uh, break this code through programming only. This property will be set directly from programming only or through video. Otherwise it will not <coughs> now Like sheet words you can use sheet one more. print out. You can take directly print out with it, this call. You can use print preview command. Another thing you can use you can change the tab color with sheet variables. There are predefined colors such as BB red, BB blue, BB, BB black. Uh, so there is no sheet, but first I need to unhide that. Visible. So she Excel sheet visible. Now it is visible. Now I can change color. Tab color. Red. What? Again, I need to activate, I think, method or data member not fine. Okay. Sheet 1 dot tab dot color. You can see here the tab color has been changed. Now you can uh, give colors, more colors here. Yeah. 
if you will press F1 from your keyboard, some of the options is not installed here in my system. So when you press F1 on such such keywords, it will give you all the range of color here. But you can give it also through which uh, uh, RGB. How do you identify this RGB? Dot hand. Now, color constant. So these colors you can use in VB, VB black, VB red, VB green, VB yellow, VB blue. These colors you can use. But if you want to use more color, more flexible colors, you can choose from here any of the color. Go in more color. You will find the color code of this. Okay. 228 <coughs> Want to color this one. Such as RG. Any of the color I can give me. 229-1081. This was the color combination. I think. So, so the same color you can see here. Okay, more flexible with color. So this was the tutorial for today for playing sheets. Tomorrow we will do something new. Okay, okay sir. Okay. You have any notes kind of things for this? Some material? Uh, yes, I have a book. 